Hello mga ka-Axie um, So ngayon, alam ko kung bakit nandito ay sa channel ko Kasi una-una sa lahat, bumili kayo ng Trezor At gusto nyong malaman kung paano ma-import yung account nyo From your, your old Ronin account to your new hardware treasure, Trezor wallet So itong step na ituturo ko sa inyo ay based sa experience na ginawa ko and so far hindi naman na reset yung aksi ko sa level 1 at yung mga scholar ko but uh, pinapayo ko sa inyo kung gusto nyo talagang mas safe ay advised na gawa kayo ng bagong Ronin account nyo with your uh, Trezor wallet. Kasi if ever na manakaw yung seed phrase nyo na nakastore sa inyong computer or sa email nyo, pwede pa rin ma-import ng hacker sa kanyang Ronin extension yung seed phrase na yon and mababaliwala yung Trezor, Trezor uh, wallet mo. And kung yung and kung confident naman kayo na hindi nakastore sa computer nyo yung uh, seed phrase nyo like nakasulat lang siya sa papel pwede na tayo magsimula okay? so gawin na natin so by this time uh, turuan kayo so siguro naman na download nyo na yung treasure suite so download nyo lang okay So, once ma-download nyo na, install nyo lang. Pag nag-ask ng update ng firmware, i-update nyo. So, that's the first step. Then, second step, after updating the firmware, you will have two options. Create new wallet or recover wallet so in this um, option pwede kayong gumawa ng new wallet nyo solely or gamit mismo yung uh, so panibagong running account na to ito yung mare reset yung mga access nyo sa level 1 etong another option which is recover wallet ang mangyayari dito kasi ilalagay nyo yung seed phrase nyo dito sa treasure, treasure wallet nyo And then, may mga steps lang kayong susundan, like, so, ang first step is to choose um, recover wallet. So, it's up to you kung ilan yung initial seed phrase nyo. Merong 12, 18, 24. So, in my case, I had the 12-word seed phrase. So, pinili ko yung 12-word seed phrase. And then, you will be given to option, what kind of recovery method, standard or advanced. So, pinili ko standard. The recover wallet from seed. So, during these steps, may mga lalabas na words sa treasure nyo. You just need to type it in dun sa screen nyo or sa laptop or computer nyo. And at the same time, um, mag-ask sila ng... For example, what's the third word on your treasure, like, or, I mean, the third uh, word on your seed phrase, and the 10, 12, so randomly as yun. Sundan nyo lang yun. So, yun. So, at the end of this step, as it means, uh, recovery completed. So, na-recover nyo na yung seed phrase, nasa loob na siya ng treasure wallet nyo. So, you'll be asked to set a pin. So, yung pin, uh, it's up to you. It will be numbers na mag-i-display nyo sa screen. Nasa screen ng Trezor nyo, you just need to set it up. Then, later on, it will be, you know, jumbled pag i-confirm nyo na kung ano yung pin nyo. So, this is for added security. So, after setting up setting up the pin, so, na set up nyo na yung pin nyo. Yung activate ng coins, optional, then select complete setup. Okay. So, ngayon, tapos na tayo sa treasure part. 
ang gagawin naman natin is to remove the extensions sa chrome, chrome nyo. So, I will remove the Ronin extension and I'll, I will also remove the MetaMask. So, in my case kasi, ang seed phrase ko for MetaMask and Ronin is is uh, pareho. Pero, kung iba, huwag nyo na lang muna alisin nyo yung, seed, uh, yung MetaMask extension nyo. So, sundan lang natin tong So, it's like the same procedure what you had before. Kailangan nyo lang i-download yung extension from the Chrome Web Store. Make sure na ang makikita nyo is 1 million users. Add to Chrome. So, once ma-install na siya. So, it's like you have a new uh, Ronin wallet. So, in this part, you have to create a dummy uh, software Ronin wallet. So... Ang gagawin nito, ito yung parang pinakang um, cover or parang decoy na Ronin wallet nyo. So, hindi to mahalaga actually. So, you just need to uh, set up. So, okay. So, punta tayo mismo sa setup. So, I'm new. Let's get set up. So, kunwari gagawa kayo ng bagong Ronin wallet nyo. So, password, you can put any password kahit hindi same nung dati yung running uh, run wallet. Any passwords will do at least 8 characters. Then, create wallet. So, dito bibigyan uli kayo ng panibagong seed phrase. Copyin nyo lang sa notepad. And then, i-paste nyo kung ano yung mga words na ipapalagay sa inyo. Like, for example, dito is one first word, second word, fourth word, seven, and ten. So, ilagay nyo lang yan. So, once may ilagay nyo yan, yan. You're good to go na. So, makikita nyo, pag tinignan nyo sa Ronin wallet nyo, meron na kayong dummy uh, Ronin account. So, hindi nyo ito gagamitin. It's like a way of opening the Ronin extension and adding your uh, or connecting your treasure to your Ronin extension. So once you open the Ronin extension, just go to connect hardware wallet. Connect wallet. Yeah, magli loading siya. Export public key. Export lang. Uh, enter my treasure fast passphrase. In my case, wala akong sinatap na passphrase. So, I'll just leave it blank. Enter. And then, makakita kayo ng maraming accounts na pwede nyong i-import. So, kailangan din, alam nyo kung ano yung mga running uh, account address nyo. So, in my case, I have three running accounts. The main account and the two sub-accounts. So, you have to do it one by one. So, first, I will do the number one, yung my main account. Select. Then, continue. So, you'll see account connected. Then, if you will go to your own extension, you can see treasure, treasure number one. And then, you can see the hardware, the blue hardware uh, wordings beside it. So, that means, na bind nyo na yung, yung, uh, ano, yung treasure nyo sa main running account nyo. And then, you just have to repeat the process for the sub-accounts. So, you just need to click uh, connect hardware wallet, connect wallet, and repeat the process hanggang malagay nyo na lahat ng, ma-import nyo lahat ng inyong running uh, sub-wallets. Uh, sub so, ganun lang siya kadali. If you want, you can check your uh, one at a time, you can check your game kung nasa level nasa, nasa level, same level pa rin siya kung saan siya iniwan so yun lang po and uh, if you have the same seed phrase sa inyong metamask, you can also do the same thing you can create a new metamask dummy account on your extension and then import lang connect hardware wallet then you, makikita nyo doon kung ano yung mga yung main account nyo and other sub accounts isa-isahin nyo lang din. So, that it, that's it guys. So, once magawa nyo na to, I advise not to save your soft, the soft copy of your running uh, seed phrase in your laptop, even in your email, kasi nahahack to. 
para iwas na rin sa disgrasya. So, sana natulungan kayo ng video na to and uh, sana uh, patuloy pa tong aksin na to and we all uh, let's help each other na ikalat itong video na to para matulungan ang iba natin na maprotektahan ang kanilang mga aksi accounts so yun nga lagi kong sasabihin sa inyo na um setting up the treasure wallet for the first time like mas mas okay pa din talaga yung mag reset sa level 1 because you will be putting in the new seed phrase directly to the Ronin uh, to the treasure wallet but if nagaalangan kayo or na bumalik sa level 1 then you can just follow the steps na ginawa ko sa video ito so hanggang sa muli Salamat po sa panonood and I hope you uh, like and subscribe this video. Salamat!